This is code.org. Let's see. Which of the following attributes that are attributes that a student object might have? All right. Right off the bat, guys, what you want to think about is things that would make sense for a student. An attribute or a property in programming should be directly related to the object or the class. So a student, right, if this was a car, I would say, okay, maybe it, one of the properties or attributes it has is a speedometer or um, a mileage count, things of that nature. So for a student, let's see. Yep, I think a student would have a name. So that one sounds good. Uh, grade. Well, yeah, a student would have a grade. Wait a minute here. One and two. One, two, all day. One and two is looking good. Go to sleep. Hmm. Now, does a student sleep? Yeah. But is that the focus of this, right? If if it's go to sleep, maybe that would be like, I would think a baby and the attribute of baby, right? The, the idea of having a student object or class, the focus of that, the goal of that is not a go to sleep function. Maybe do your homework or something like this. But go to sleep isn't in line with these others. So you kind of want to go with your gut here. Uh, yeah. But, uh, cool. If you didn't get that, don't worry. You will. This will make sense as we continue. Onward.